So you pick up something and you're really praying that the problem you're having with it isn't major. Well, this one's pretty major. The worm gear has one, two, and a half teeth that have completely broken off. And it has um, kind of come to my attention that this shaft might be bent. So I think the reason why this was out of service and left to rust is that at some point in time it was dropped. I can't, um, I, I can't get this back in. I, I had to drive it out, but it will not go all the way back in. This is the opposite direction of where it needs to go. If I go this way, it only goes to about right here. So I'm going to set up some inspection. We're going to inspect this. Inspect this the best way that we can. If we need to try to straighten this out, we're going to give that a good shot. It's possible that I might be able to order new, new parts. This is a Vertex. There are other manufacturers. Uh, Grizzly has one that I think this, this gear can be purchased from them. I'm not sure on their dimensions though. Uh, the one that they have that looks like this one is um, $54 plus shipping and it's on back order same thing with the uh, with the worm and shaft they're both on back order so our, our best bet is to attempt to fix what we have here and get this straightened up and back together instead of trying to wait and if uh, if we don't do well with fixing this that's okay we'll go ahead and order those parts so I'm gonna move over get out some inspection equipment start taking a look at things um, I don't think that this needs to be inspected it's just broken and this may be a result of the table being locked and after it was dropped somebody trying to force the force turning it thinking that this was just frozen up and it it sheared the teeth right off so I'm thinking positively about getting this done three five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost eleven thousandths. That's substantial. There's some substantial bend in this shaft. We'll straighten the shaft first. Then the idea is to where it's bent mostly at. We'll come um, make sure this is round here. That's pretty straight there. And then if I come over here. get an idea as to where it's mostly bent. It appears to be mostly on the outbound side. Let's see if it's round to itself. It is relatively round to itself. We'll get this set up, find the high. Probably going to end up grabbing it here, getting a little heat on it, bending it forward, and letting it cool back down and see where it's at. And slowly try to work this back forward. There's some mooring on the thread here from when one of the the nut captures was tightened up on it. Same with here and here. We'll get this cleaned up, straightened up the best we can, and that explains why it doesn't fit all the way inside of there anymore. It's just that the one side is too far out. So I think I got the shaft pretty straight. So, take a 
quick look. This comes up to uh, minus seven. Minus three. Plus two. So it's about a thousand out all around in total. We'll give it one more push. This side right here is a little bit high. Let's give it one more push. I'm not sure if that's. See what that gets us. May have gone too far. I'm basically chasing this thing. Yeah, I see just. Back to that high. Let's ride around in here. Just putting it in a hole on the table and giving it a little bit of a push. Still high right there, but I can let's do that again. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Five tenths up, two tenths down. We're seven thousandths out, or seven tenths out. Uh, nine, nine tenths out. It's almost a thousandths out. More good time here. Now it's coming up to indicators changed. So it's definitely within 1,000s, so and this is what I've been chasing. If I if I do anything more than just tap on it, that's that is what it is. Now the piece that's uh, this goes into, I got it at a thousands before. I went to put it in, it was still out, so I took this piece. And had it um, had it had it to where I could get the, the part in, and it would still get stuck. So I wondered, you know, what what's going on here? So then I took this piece, put it in a V block, realized that it was out about fifteen thousandths, at least the the bore. If I had a pin on the end of the bore and spun it on one side, so I walked it over. I had this piece supported and tapped it with a hammer, and it just snapped right off. Um, there is. Uh, rust discoloration on this side Right here rust discoloration and then shiny over here where it was brand new. I've started filing. So what's going to end up happening? this does why is that? So there's still I'm, I'm thinking that it's still the shaft is bent a little bit If I get it all if I get it to where it's in between the two that's where it exhibits that bent state I'm not sure where that's coming from. This comes up to four. Yeah, yeah quite a bit more. I'll be right back.
bitches. One and a half. A half. Two. Three. Three. What do we have down here? Two and a half. That's two. One. Well, the whole shaft is still bent, but it's within two. There are just small areas where it's going to have those problems. Right here, it's a little bit tight. And a little bit of sandpaper inside the bore on the cast iron, clean any of that up. Now the question comes, what am I going to do about this piece? I can line them back up on this, and I'll try to TIG braze this back together. That's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Anyway, we'll see after I give that a shot. 